Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, we will be continuing the PySpark series and in this particular video, we are going to see group by an aggregate function. Already I have actually created somewhere around four tutorials on PySpark. This is basically the fifth tutorial. And again, this is a part of a data frame. Why we should actually use group by an aggregate functions again for doing some kind of data pre-processing. So let's begin. For this particular data set, uh, for this particular problem, I've created a data set which has three features like name, departments, and salary. And you have some of the data like crash, data science, uh, salary, right? Something like this. So over here, in short, if I want to basically understand about this particular data set, there are some departments probably where crash and other people teach and based on different, different departments, they get a different, different salary. So let's see how we can perform different different group by and aggregate functions and see how we can pre-process or how we can get some uh, or retrieve some kind of results from this particular data. So to begin with, what we are going to do, we are first of all going to import PySpark, SQL import Spark session. As usual, we have to create a Spark session. So after this, what we have to do, I'll create a Spark variable. So I'll use spark session dot builder dot app name. I think everybody must be familiar with this, but again, I'm trying to show you this one. So let me write it as aggregate dot get or create. So now I've actually created a spark session. Okay. Probably this will take some time. Now, if I go and check out my spark variable, so here is your entire information. Okay. With respect to this particular spark variable. Now let's go ahead and try to read the data set. Now I will just write df underscore PySpark and then here I'll write spark dot read dot CSV. The CSV file name is basically test three dot CSV. And remember, I'll be giving this particular CSV file in the GitHub also. And then I'll be using header is equal to true comma infer schema is equal to two. <coughs> Now, this is my df underscore PySpark. Now, what I'll do in the next statement, I will write df underscore PySpark dot show, right? Now here you'll be able to see that I'm actually being able to see all the data sets. Here I have name, departments and salary on all this particular information. If I really want to see the schema or the columns, like which all columns where it belongs to, just like a data types, I can definitely use df underscore PySpark dot print schema, right? And now here you can see name is a string, department is string, and salary is basically an integer, okay? Now let's perform some group by operation. First, we'll start by group by operation. Probably I want to group by name and probably try to see what will be the mean average salary, you know, or, or what, Suppose uh, let's let's take a specific example over here. So I'll write df dot underscore pi spark dot group by. Suppose I want to go and check who is having the maximum salary out of all these people that are present in this particular data set. So I'll first of all group by name. If I execute this, you can see that we will be getting a return type of group data at some specific memory location. And you should always know that guys <coughs> group by an aggregate functions works together. That basically means first of all, we up, we need to apply a group by functionality and then we need to apply an aggregate function. So aggregate function, if you really want to check, just press dot and press tab. So here you'll be able to see a lot of uh, different, different function examples like aggregate, average, count, max, mean, pivot and many more, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use this dot sum because I really need to find which is the maximum salary. Uh, from out of all this particular employees who is having the maximum salary. So here I'll say dot sum and if I execute it, you'll be able to see that we are getting a SQL dot data frame, which has name and sum of salary. This is very much important guys, sum of salary because I really want to have the sum of the salary. Remember, we cannot apply sum on the string. So that is the reason it has not done over here. It is just giving you the name because we have group by name and this dot sum will just get applied on this particular salary. Now, if I go and write dot show here, you'll be able to see <clears throat> Sudanshu over here is having the highest salary of 35,000. Sunny has 12,000. Krish has 19,000. Mahesh has 7,000. So if you go and see over here, Sudanshu is basically present here, here and in big data. 
so overall his salary should be 35,000 if you compute it similarly you can go and compute my salary over here <coughs> over here by just calculating this and then you can also compute Sunny salary and you can also see Mahesh salary so this is one just an example so here I'll just write we have grouped to find the maximum salary and definitely over here from this entire observation we can retrieve that Sudanshu is having the highest salary okay now let's go to one step ahead one more step ahead now we'll try to group uh, by departments to find out which department gives maximum salary okay we are going to do a group by departments which gives maximum salary suppose this is my this is my requirement okay and different different types of requirement may come i'm just trying to show you some examples so i'm just going to copy this <coughs> i'm going to use this department okay and then i'm basically going to say dot sum dot show if i execute it uh let me see department is a wrong uh, uh, column name so i'll write departments it is departments so let me write s now if i go and see iot over here gives some a salary around one fifteen thousand to this employees to all the employees right combined because we are doing the sum big data gives somewhere around fifteen thousand data science gives around forty three thousand now suppose if i go and see big data over here four thousand four thousand eight thousand eight thousand and thirteen thousand thirteen thousand fifteen thousand so I hope I'm getting, yes, big data is actually giving us 15,000. So you can go and calculate it. Suppose if you want to find out the mean, you can also find out the mean. Okay. So let me just write it over here. Just copy this entire thing, paste it over here and let me write instead of, instead of sum, I'll try to write mean. So by default, the mean salary here, you can see that for a particular employee somewhere for IoT it is 7,500 because this mean will be based on how many number of people are working in the department, right? So like this, you can actually find out. Now I can also check one more thing, guys. I can copy this. I can try to find out how many number of employees are actually working based on the department. So I can use dot count. And then if I go and execute this, probably this is a method. Okay. Now here you'll be seeing that in IoT, there are two people in big data. There are four people in data science. There are four people. So four plus four plus eight total employees that are present over here is basically 10. Now, one more way that I can basically apply a directly aggregate function also. Now see, these are all some of the examples. And again, you can do different, different group by let me use DF PySpark. Suppose I say dot aggregate. Okay. And inside this, I will just give my key value pairs like this. Suppose I say, let me say that salary, I want to find out the sum of the salaries, the overall salary that is basically given to the entire total expenditure in sort. So the total expenditure that you will be able to see is somewhere around 73,000. All right. So we can also apply direct aggregate function. Otherwise, this all are also aggregate function, which we basically apply after after, uh, you know, applying a group by function. Now, suppose uh, these are probably the salary I want to find out. Suppose I'll take this example. I want to find out the maximum salary that the person is basically getting who is getting the maximum salary. Sorry. So here instead of writing dot sum, now I'll write max dot show. Now here you can see uh, Sudanshu is basically getting 20,000. Uh, over here, 10,000, uh, 10, Krish is getting 10,000, Mahesh is getting 4,000, uh, 4, right? So all this particular data is there. See, Krish is basically getting with respect to uh, data science over here, 10,000. So it has basically picked up. It is not picking up both the records, but at least when it is grouping by name and then it is showing uh, this particular data, that time you'll be able to see it. Let's see whether I'll be also able to see this or not. So group by. If I go and write min, so here you will be able to see minimum value with respect to different, different records. When I'm grouping by here, you'll be able to see that uh, Sudanshu, uh, sorry, Sudanshu is getting a minimum salary of 5,000, 2,000. Krish is getting a minimum salary of 4,000, right? We can also get that particular information. Now let's see what all different, different types of operation are there. Average is also there. So if I write AVG. It's just like mean only guys. So this is basically the mean salary that probably you are getting. 
again you can check out different different functionalities why these all things are basically required understand one thing is that you really need to do a lot of data pre-processing a lot of retrieving skills that you basically do you can check it out this one and you can do different different functionalities as you like so i hope you like this particular video probably in the next video i'm going to start with spark uh, mlib libraries where we'll be solving some machine learning algorithm problems so i hope you like this particular video i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you and all bye bye